Hey all, Russ here, RV or TV. Good morning. We're heading out here to Dome Rock Road, the BLM land. We're going to go check out how you can camp for free. That's right. Free, free, free camping on BLM lands. There are certain rules you got to follow, but we're going to start off with uh, Dome Rock Road. So let's go check it out. Dome Rock is a massive area, hundreds and hundreds of acres. It's on the left side of the road up here. A little bit's on the right side too. I'll fly the drone, you'll see both. There's also two entrances and two hosts out here. Okay, that road there to the left, that's how you get to part of it. We'll come back to that. That's called Chola Road. But let's go up. I'll stop up here at the first camp host site. Get a shot of the signs. And then we'll just continue up. I'll measure the distance too between uh, where the host is and to the end of the camp area here. What a beautiful day. You cannot beat this weather in November. Check it out. It's been averaging right around 70 degrees and about high 40s, low 50s at night. Perfect weather. Okay, I'm going to pull in here and I'll be right back. All right, we're at Dome Rock Road. The host is here. This is where you register for 14 days of free camping. All they do is give you a little certificate you put in the window and you're good to go. All you do is register your vehicles. Okay, here's our sign. Dome Rock, we're at that one first. I'm gonna film them all. We're going to them all. Not in this video, but uh, we're in the next few days. I'm going to film them all. But we're going to start off with Dome Rock. I'll show you uh, from the air and the ground how you, you can come out here and camp for free. Alrighty, let's head up uh, the road. Let's go check this place out. Alright, we'll call this the East End, which it actually is, a Dome Rock. We're going to head down the road. I'll go up here about a half mile, pull off, and then we'll launch a drone. Alright, this looks like a pretty good spot. Okay, right in this area you can camp on both sides of the road. Once you get up a little farther, you can only stay to, I guess it would be the south of Dome Rock. Alright, I'm going to launch. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm in uh, editing mode. I'll be doing a voiceover over the drone footage in this video. Alrighty, you can see the freeway out there. I, that's I-10. And you can hear the traffic here. So part of it being free. See the uh, straight ahead? That's where the host is. That's where we were just at. And you can actually camp on both sides of the road here. Then also if you look way out, you can also camp out there. But you can't access that off Dome Rock. That's what I'll show you later off that Chola Road, how to get in there. And you can go back in there quite a ways. And Back there it's quieter and you're farther away from the freeway. But this is looking up. We're going to be heading up this direction. We got uh, two, three miles to head up that way to the end of Dome Rock. Alright, time to get back on the road. Nothing like an aerial view, huh? Okay, we're going to head up the road. I'm going to go up here about another mile or so, then I'll pull off. Now, it'll be about the center of Dome Rock area here. And get you more of a view. You can see there's a few rigs here scattered along the road right now. Not too many yet. In 
January, this place will be packed. I mean, hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of rigs. All right, this looks like a good spot up here on the right. I'm going to pull off. We'll launch a drone. And this is about, once again, the halfway mark. Maybe a little over halfway down Dome Rock. And you can see we're getting closer to the freeway, too. I always call it freeway. Interstate. Interstate 10. So let me get parked, and I'll be back. Up we go. Now you can see it's closer. The, look at all the trucks out there. That's what you hear a lot. Those trucks just really 24 hours a day. They just keep going and going. And you can see there's Dome Rock that's facing back towards Quartzsite. And it gets a little bit narrower. Uh, the farther we get, go down to the west, to the other end, it narrows but you can get back in there quite a ways especially if you just got like a pickup truck and a trailer you'll notice more big rigs will stay closer to the road motorhomes and then the smaller trailers with trucks will get back there farther and there's dome rock right down there itself that's where we'll be heading next and then right here on the right this is actually uh, the start of the gold claims that I uh, go to right here on the right hand side. Okay, I got the drone up here about 160 feet, 70 feet. All right, time to move on. Okay, from here we'll go to the very end, west end of Dome Rock Road. Probably got another little over a mile to get down there. There's a huge natural gas right to the left. That's one of their uh, little transfer stations. But there's a big pipeline that runs along Dome Rock, goes over the mountains, goes clear over to California which a dirt road kind of follows the whole thing. There's very easy access. Dozens and dozens of places you can pull off here on the left. And it's pretty dark out here too at night. Good stargazing. There's a look at uh, Dome Rock right there on the left. Couple rigs right there. Okay, here it is. This is the very farthest end of Dome Rock. Straight ahead right there is a freeway uh, off-ramp. I forget the number, but it's called Dome Rock Road. So if you're coming in from the west out of California or Ehrenberg, you can just take Dome Rock instead of going all the way into Quartzsite. Okay, I'll get back here, and you'll see that out when I fly the drone. You're going to see that pretty good, probably. So let me get back here a little bit and get parked. Okay, you can see from the ground. Isn't it pretty? Look at those mountains. And they got map boards and whatnot around. Not too many of them. But this will give you a little perspective of how close you are now to Interstate 10 here at this end. And you really hear the traffic up here. Cell phone is really good reception. I got over three bars all the way up Dome Rock. All right, I'm gonna launch a drone. We'll get up in the air back in a few all right up we go 
now you'll really see how close we are to Interstate 10 here. Straight across are gold claims, part of the gold club on the other side of the freeway there. But this is the Dome Rock Road interchange. You can exit it off uh, before you get into Quartzsite. I think it's like exit 9 or 10, maybe 11, I forget. We'll swing it around. Now you're going to look all the way down. Right down that way is Quartzsite, and that's the road we just traveled up. There's Dome Rock. There's the mountain. Now you've seen it. You've seen Dome Rock Road, BLM camping area. But what beauty. I mean, look at the mountains. You're not going to see anything like this anywhere else. And you camp here for free. 14 days. That's two weeks. And you can get supplies in Quartzsite. It's not very far. Or Blythe. Okay, now we're going to backtrack. I'm going to get back here in Dome Rock. We're going to head back towards Quartzsite. We're going to go all the way down to the other end where we started. We're going to make a right on Chola Road. And I'll show you the back side of Dome Rock, how to get in there. In case you're wondering, from the host station where we started up to the west end of Dome Rock, I measured about 3.3 miles on my odometer, but I pulled off a couple times, but roughly around 3 miles. 3 miles long and who knows how wide, but it does get narrow when you're going back uh, up towards the west. Okay, we just passed the host on Dome Rock. This is the Dome Rock host on the left. We just passed them. We're going to go up past these buildings here. They're kind of commercial buildings. Uh, they got dumpsters and stuff. I think it's part of their refuse uh, plant for dumpsters and garbage and whatnot. Go across this wash bridge, and right up here on the right is Chola Road. And this road will actually take you all the way out to Rainbow Acres, which is a huge community. So let's make a right here. They just fixed this road. This thing got wiped out earlier this summer. Massive monsoon took the road out. They just replaced this section right here. It's all brand new. The road was closed for months. Okay, to the right is still Dome Rock Road. There's an entrance right up here and looks like their host is already set up. So you actually have two hosts for Dome Rock Road. If you come in off Chola, you'll register right here with this host. And it, this goes back a long, long ways. And the road's pretty decent. It's all dirt. Just go slow. You'll be fine. But right there on the left, that's the host for the this part of Dome Rock. There's a big wash that separates the two areas. That's why there's two hosts. You can't cut across. You could in a four-wheeler, but not in an RV. Okay, I'm going to get turned around, go park, launch the drone. Get a little aerial view here. And I'll be right back. Okay, straight ahead, that little trailer down there, that's the host. I kind of came over to this side, get the sun behind me, but you can see it. There's those metal buildings I was talking about farther out. That road right there is Chola Road. 
and you can see the dirt road you can go back there's some rigs right there you see a lot more groups come back here but you can go back quite a ways in this area and you can also camp over to the left here uh, a little ways too There you have it. That's where you can camp for free on Dome Rock Road. I'm going to go film them all. This is only the first video. There will be several more. I'm going to do all the BLM lands around here. With the drone. Give you a good idea. I like Dome Rock, especially out at the other end. You get a little bit of the freeway noise, but also you're farther enough away from town you don't get all the dust and everything when in January. Alright, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Take care all.